Hello everybody and welcome back to the Band of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. In the last episode, probably the most mental thing I've ever experienced. It was pretty bizarre. And this time I realised we haven't done anything with Maggie yet. Which is surprising. I don't really know how I've managed that. So let's just go and play a normal run as Maggie. We also have unlocked the, um, I, I think it's the ultra hard challenge that gives us this, but the speed pill. So that she gets default speed. Very, very nice. We've also got this right here, which is a troll bomb. Great. And we can just use our yum heart to instantly get that heart back. But I, I haven't played a normal run in quite a while now. Like we've been doing uh, challenges and then greed mode. I'm definitely going to get hit here. Oh my god, how did I survive that? Um, but yeah, we've been doing challenges and then greed mode and all sorts of stuff. So I haven't really done a normal run in a while here. And it's going to be nice sort of getting back into that, uh, getting back into that groove. The Emperor's new groove sort of style. Oh, come on, please give us a bomb. Oh, wait, we can actually, we can maybe force Toothy here. Oh my god, I didn't realise he does that. Okay, we might not be able to force Toothy to do anything. Okay, I'm, I'm totally going to get Teethed here. Yep. Damn it. Oh, but we clutched it with a bomb drop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Clutched it with a bomb drop. Nice. I really should have waited until I got hit on, the, on a red heart again before I took that uh, soul heart. But it's not the biggest issue in the world. We're not all we're gonna be wasting is one use of Yum Heart. And as most of you know, Yum Heart, when you're a noob at this game, is great. You're like, whoa. You start with extra health and you get to heal every four rooms, and then you actually realize that it kind of sucks because you don't really want red hearts for anything. They're basically deal the devil fodder, and that is all. <laughs> so um I tend to I tend to not really value Yum Heart that highly. When you really start out of the game, it's like it's it's like it's an absolute godsend. Um, damage multiplier and speed. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a nice hefty bit of damage then. Actually, a hefty bit of speed as well. And we still haven't even found our item room yet. I just realised. So that's gonna be a pretty good start to this um, this run. Considering one of Maggie's worst attributes is her starting speed, we have the pill to get rid of that. Uh, and then on top of that, we had a speed upgrade. That's a pretty good start for Maggie. Magdalene is coming along. Coming along nicely. Ah, little spoders trying to, trying to tickle me. Do you know what? Do you know what? Dr. Fetus is the like most common thing in the game for us. I swear we've had it about a thousand times, so I'm not going to take it. We get it so often, it's insane. Like, in this series, the series is what, like 38 episodes long? 39 maybe now? And we've had a Dr. Fetus like at least 10 times, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to ignore it because it's, it's, it's great. It's brilliant. It makes the runs like basically a win most of the time. But obviously it ruins a lot of cool tier effects. I mean, it does make some bomb effects really good. But I think we just want to stick with tiers for now. And also... I want to nerf myself a bit. <laughs> I just, I'm feeling like I want a little bit more of a challenge, and I think that's just too much of an easy victory. I mean, it's, I'm not going to say it's always an easy victory. If you don't get any bomb um, synergies or anything, then it's not always going to be the best. But a lot of the time, the damage it gives you is pretty insane. So I'm going to just err on the side of err on the side of nerfing myself a little bit and try and play the game. A little more vanilla, should I say, because we might end up getting something else that, that works a lot better and the bombs, uh, the Dr. Fetus thing would have ruined, like a synergy or something. Um, oh, I don't want to do that. I almost walked in there. Ooh. Uh, fires now drop consumables more frequently. Lucky call. Nice. If we find any fires, we want to shoot them out because they can drop stuff. Okay, don't get hit again here because I want to deal with the devil. I would very much like a deal with the devil. I do not like this guy. This guy is not, not a good uh, champion. I just don't like champions in general there, but still. Right. Sterny Bernies. Just one Sterny, luckily. One Asternian boy. I don't like Sternies, but Asternians, honestly, the um, the verdict isn't out on Asternians. I've never met one, I don't think. But I can't imagine they're horrible. They seem, I've, I've not heard anything bad about that place. So I'm sure it's, I'm sure they're cool. I'm sure they're cool. Show when you're playing a game, game of Binding of Isaac and then... Accidentally talking about which races you like. Whoopsie. Oh no. Don't get hit again, Maggie. That would be mucho bad. That would be mucho bad because then we'd lose our deal the devil. And I'd kick you in the head because I want a deal the devil. Especially considering we have extra HP to trade away here. It would be very nice to keep that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some penes. The wafer. 
is just brilliant for the later floors, so I'm going to take that. It also helps us out massively with champions too, so big help here. Not that Maggie really needs the bonus defense, but it doesn't hurt. It definitely doesn't hurt. Right. Got him. Last boy. Ooh, he almost got me. That This extra damage is helping out so much. And you got to remember as well, like, not only is it extra damage, it's a damage multiplier. So it's going to increase all of our future damage gains for the rest of the run, which is just awesome. Stonies are at it again. Nice, 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 nice. Give me some more pennies and let me find the shop. That would be brilliant. Oh, God, this room is just awful. They get stuck behind the rocks. It's really annoying. If you don't have bombs, sometimes this room can take forever. Oh my god, thank god we have higher damage, otherwise that room would have been the worst. Also, there's no fires. There's no fires anywhere. What's up with that? Oh no! The stony pushed me into the shot. No deal the devil for us this floor. Big sad, big sad. I got scared of the champion and kind of, like, bolted. I pussied out. Do you know what? I'm just gonna donate. I'm just gonna actually shoot out these fires first. Ooh, that's strange. They don't normally disappear like that, but whatever. Alright, it, um, it capped out anyways. Shame, shame. Shame, shame. But yes, it would have been it would have been beautiful to keep our deal the devil chances up there and, and maybe maybe get ourselves a little bit of a little bit of something amazing, but unfortunately that is not the way for us. It's not the way. The game didn't want it to happen. It just wanted us have a normal old run maybe even get an angel deal honestly as long as it's something okay i wouldn't mind an angel deal there are some cool items in that pool and especially when you don't have a lot of the items unlocked there's some more cooler items in there you get like sacred heart and stuff like that so i'm up for that a bit of hp as well lovely have we been to our item room we, we have we've got the wafer let's move down to our next one let's hope that this floor pans out a little better i'm hoping for getting a really good item room or a deal the devil here because we could really up our damage with either one of those. Obviously, the uh, Deal the Devil is a much, much, much more reliable way of doing so. I think um, if we go the route of just hoping our item room's that good, it's not going to be the most reliable source of um, of getting a damage up or something like that. But it could happen. It, it sure could happen, so you can't rule it out. This is a room... Yep. I was just about to say, this is a room where I lose the Deal the Devil. I always do. So, gonna going to just put it out there. Our chances have gone from great to pretty fucking slim in in that very short amount of time, which is very upsetting. I do appreciate the stone chest, though. I do appreciate the stone chest. We might we might be able to um, bomb our way through to one of those with the uh, with the flies here. I am very annoyed though that I I sacrificed a very ow a very good item a very good item just for the game's sake to make the game more fun for myself. And I've missed the chest, great. Uh, and I've actually just hindered myself massively and probably could have easily done well on this run and probably got to deal the devils. But no. No, I was like, I'm going to be cute. I'm going to try and play without that item because I don't need it. I'm such a good player. Eh, eh, eh. I'm the turtle man. Eh, eh, eh. Fucking God, why am I the way I am? Why don't I just take the easy win? Uh, I tried to entertain myself. What a mistake that was. Oh my God. Really? Really, game? Now I have to fight waves of enemies for four spiders and a red heart I can't use. That is just, just typical. Go away, Tuma. I really hope that this this 36% chance just pans out in the, in the boss room. We don't get hit and it pans out for us. That would be the ideal scenario. But, of course it won't. I'll get hit because I'm bad. Or I'll just not get the chance because my luck is bad. One of the two. And the game will carry on to hate me. Unless this item room is just absolutely banging. I'm going to be pretty upset with everything. Like, and not just in game. Just, just everything. Like, it's actually going to ruin my day. No, it's not. I've had a really... I um, I streamed earlier on today. I streamed some, um, like, uh, roguelike Minecraft. And it was really fun. A really good stream. Thanks to all of you that joined. It was very enjoyable. We had some bants. I enjoyed a very, very fun mod pack. And I made plans to do it again. So I'm very, very happy with it. Very, very happy indeed. Right, let's go in here. 
We've got Dull Razor, which I don't think does anything for us right now. Um, but I'm going to take it, because Dull Razor is a really cool item. And it has some very cool uses, depending on what items you get. Obviously, there's not that many items in the game that actually trigger anything on hit. But there is a few that are really good, so I'm going to go for it in the in the hopes that one of those shows up. I'm really noticing how, like, like our damage felt so good, and now it just feels so lackluster. That midgy guy is going to be the death of us. I'm trying to kill that midget just so he doesn't get us. As long as we don't, like, lose out on too much HP by taking Dull Razor here. This might end up being a great choice. It might end up being a useless choice. We might not get anything out of it. Like, that is the case with Dull Razor a lot of the time. But I'm going to bank on, on getting something that's useful with it and just, just sort of hope and pray that that works out and that pans out. Right. I want to kill these guys before I go for the purple dude. Just because he fires out random shots. I want to sort of know where he is while I'm going after him. While he's coming after me. Right, let's fight this boss. So, we've got kind of unlucky here, because this boss is very unpredictable, and he can pop out of the ground basically wherever he wants, and he's very, very good at telefragging. So, we might find, we might find that he, um, that he telefrags us a few times. Basically, he can follow you anywhere, and it's, it's really hard to keep a track, and obviously, as you can see, it's also very hard to deal consistent damage to him, because he's constantly moving. And there you go, look, almost got me there. He, he can move underground at very weird paces that you can't expect sometimes. So basically, you've just got a game of luck of, will he pop up on me? Or will he spawn enemies that I have to now kill? And just, God's sake, dude. Did you have to? Did you, did, like, actually, did you have to? And one of these enemies as well. These things are the worst. The absolute worst. Look at that. He's been, he's been a grade A bitch right now. Like, what is that thing doing? Just stay still. Telefragged. Fucking telefragged. Of course. Fucking telefragging, bitch. If you don't know what telefragging is, it's where an enemy that can go, like, that can teleport or go underground hurts you via single-use mana... Oh, okay, I'm definitely doing that. I'm definitely doing that. Um, Yeah, basically, it's a, it's a situation in which... You take damage in an unavoidable way via an enemy that teleports or moves, loca moves location that you're able to see, and it, yeah, that 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 boss is is super telefraggy. It's very very annoying, and he just did that exact thing to me and got me hurt for no reason. Uh, right, let's try and find our bloody item room here. I reckon it'll be off of this room, off the back of this room. Seems like a prime room for it. But yes, we have another 100% chance on the next floor. We do have a black heart, so as long as we can keep this black heart alive for the next floor, we have a decent chance, a hopeful chance, of getting uh, getting ourselves a deal with the devil. If only I could kill these dips without taking damage. These easiest enemies in the game without taking damage. I wonder if I've ever died to a dip. I don't think I have. It'd be embarrassing if I have. Let's just get around. The, the corn ones I probably have, but not the normal ones. Not the not the not the regular old dippies, dippy fresh. Noise, noise, noise. No, we got more rooms. These guys are fairly easy. They can be a little unpredictable, but if you if you move sort of in the right way, normally they're fine. Hey, infinite keys. That helps out a bit. At least means we have another key for next floor if we don't get one off of these room uh, clear awards. I'm glad we got damage. Even if it lost us a heart container, I'm glad we got some damage. These things are unpredictable as shit. It's not in their movement, it's in how, how far they stretch their neck, basically. And fucking hell. Look damage against them anyways. Like, sometimes they stretch their neck like an inch, and sometimes it's like, eat. Stretch their neck all the way across the entire room, so... They're a bit difficult to, to sort of deal with. And this is a horrible situation. I don't know how I dodged that, but yeah. I'm going to say, Blackheart's gone easily. Because that room's unfair. Any of these thin rooms with enemies like that are very unfair, in my opinion. We really, really need to deal with the devil, and I don't think we're going to get it. And this isn't even the fucking item room. Where is it? Where is it? Where the actual is it? This is just terrible. Let me find the item room. Nope. Nope. Is it in here? Nope. Is it down here? 
It must be. These enemies are awful as well. They're so difficult. They're cool. They're really difficult. Especially when there's other enemies in the room to deal with, like there is now. Like, you can't hit them until they actually touch the ground, which is annoying. There you go. Right, we need some HP. This is just such a long floor. Is this an XL floor? No, it's not. It's mental how long this floor is. I think on this being like a half an hour episode, it's going to end up being like a full hour. Oh my god, I got hit by a dip. Dippy Fresh has got me. Dippy Fresh has got me. There it is. Wasn't even worth it. Wasn't worth anything. Come on now. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. This run sucks dick. <laughs> oh my god. This is not good. Not good at all. Every single item sucked there. That, like, that second one, the magnetic thing, was actually a negative. That's how bad it was. It was so bad, it made us worse. At least we got that eternal heart. At least there's that. At least there's that. But that doesn't really improve our stature in... Okay. Guaranteed damage. Guaranteed damage. Guaranteed damage. Guaranteed damage. Guaranteed damage. Guaranteed damage. Let me fucking die. Let's end this fucking chaos and play another run. That was awful. Fuck that run. I, that's actually genuinely the biggest load of bullshit I've ever seen in my life. Walk into my first room and it's guaranteed damage. That's not fair, game. That's not fair. You know it's not. Oh my god, that was close. Oh my god. Shouldn't really be doing another run on the back of this. I was trying to, like I said, have a like half an hour episode. And this is going to be like a, a full hour now. But I don't need sleep. Sleep is for the week. I'll be fine. Maybe. By the way, I didn't talk about Aqu Aquarius, whatever it's called. It's alright. It's basically a slight amount of passive damage. It's going to be marginally useful against enemies that chase us. And that's about it. These guys are going to do a little bit too, but it doesn't last long enough or paint like, in a thick enough line to do a lot of damage. And even still, when they're on it, it doesn't do that much damage. But it is, it is technically extra damage for those enemies that follow us, so I can't complain. I can't complain. It ain't a bad thing. Actually, I better get that other. I better get at that other penny just because it'll give us a chance for an arcade on the next floor. I'll guarantee one. I can never remember if it's a guarantee or a chance. Ooh, another pill. Is that another speed upgrade? No, it's not. I'll take it anyways. Health down. This game. I swear. I swear to God. This game. Health down. Or I was just about to say, of course, the worst boss, and it spawned. Um, just can you calm? Can you calm? Can you calm down with the explosives, please? Holy shit! This is, he's never normally this bad, is he? I'm sorry, but this is just this is just absurd. This is absurd. Calm your fucking shitter, Mister. Ah, I don't know. Is this game just got a lot harder? Fuck off. Just, what happened to this game? Why has it gotten so much harder all of a sudden? My god. One of the mods I'm using made, like, the boss is much more difficult or something. Because this is unprecedented for this boss. It normally does it, like, once. We get flight at least, but come on now. That was just, just awful. Just awful first floor boss there. At least we get a massive speed upgrade and flight. I'm going to risk this. Oh, wait, why'd I do that? I'm going to lose my deal of the level now, aren't I? I'm going to lose my deal of the devil. Can I Can I do this? Oh, thank God, a teleport card. Oh, that would have been that would have been horrible if I'd have lost my deal of the devil straight away there. Oh, my God, an item. Pointy rib. Thank you. It helps a bit. Actually, it helps a lot. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it has great damage. Okay. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Pointy rib. Pointy rib. Pointy rib. Where are? 
Yeah, it seems to have really good damage. Helps out a lot. Like that. Situations like that, it's really good. And this flight is going to help us so much in trying to keep our deal the devil. I don't know if we managed to keep it this floor just because we've got, like, a lot of floor to go and not that much health. Well, we might, we might not have a lot of floor to go, but you know what I mean. We don't have that much health to, to play around with here. Um, and we just don't have any soul hearts or anything, so... A little more apprehensive, especially depending on the boss. It could be Ragman, and obviously Ragman is the worst. Obviously. We did just get an item room there. And it's Piggy Bank, which doesn't really doesn't really turn the tides too much on this run, but it's nice to have it. It's it's a, it at least it means we get rewarded for being hit. Would have been nice to have it when we had an item that synergized with that, but you can't always get what you want. And that's that's great to get before the boss. We get fireman shots here as well. This is a great place to have fireman shots. Absolutely great. Dive through the fires. We got the same creatine again. A creatine again. Oh my god, it's a free deal with the devil. The deal with the devil is free. I don't know why, but it's free. Thanks, I guess. Is that just a, like a random chance? Or is that because of some of the items we have? Or what? What the hell was that about? Either way, I'm happy. Very happy. That's, that's, that doesn't make me happy. But yeah, either way, I'm happy with that. Oh my god, it didn't even, deal, it didn't even kill him. Do nothing. But yes, I'm 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 a much happier with this run. This run is going so much better already. Well, I'm not. I wasn't convinced by the items we picked up, but that's just goat head. I didn't even talk about goat head. Obviously, we've got a guppy item, which is great. Sets us up for later. But goat head. Basically, goat head guarantees guarantees guppy, especially if you already get one in the same deal. The devil basically guarantees it, but it also guarantees. Just good items, because we're going to be getting deal levels every floor, and we have a little bit of health to trade away. Farewell stone. I, I don't really like using the farewell stone, but it's good to have it, I suppose. You can deal nothing to me. You are nothing to me, sir. That bloody charge does no damage at all. Absolutely worthless. Right, you leave me alone. You need to die. Spawned two Moria, that's just evil. Such annoying enemies as well. Yeah, this pointy rib is just upping our DPS so much because our actual damage is it's all right, but it's it's not great. It's just the same as we had last time in the Korea team. Oh my god. I like the way that it depends on which one of these totems like, is left. Like it spawns the actual heads in different orders, so that different one of them do different attacks at different levels. And that's kinda cool. Oh my god. I'll take another pill. Friends, to Friends till the end. end is fine. It's just fine. Oh, that's great. That's so good. Basically, we get double damage if we hit our shots consecutively, which we do most of the time, so very happy with that. We do have uh, enough for the shops. I will try and make my way over there. I'm just going to try and get pointy... Ah, oh, my God. I'm just going to try and get pointy rib damage. Ow. Don't need to bother about getting hit, though. It doesn't really affect us that much. Angel oh, because we didn't actually take it. Oh, nice. Nice. We didn't actually take any deal of the devils last time, technically, because we got them for free. So we get deal of the angels, which is great. Getting deal of the angels every single time. We lose out on guppy chances. That's true. But don't want that. Don't know what it is. Uh, but at the same time, we just got holy light, and we can get a lot more good items. Especially with so many consistent angel deals and a lot more HP as well. I tend to get a lot of HP from angel deals. And I love holy light, by the way. Just love it. Love me some holy light. Look at that. Great damage. Um we'll we'll reroll this. Chaos, yes. I know that kind of ruins the angel deal thing, but they're free. We don't have to pay for them. And that's great too. And a booster pack. I'll take death XXXXXX. And I'll actually take a soul heart as well. Just just to be cute. But yes, very happy. Chaos is brilliant. It makes all of our um all of our item rooms in infinitesimally better. And it makes our angel deals a little worse. Who cares? It means that it means our item rooms and shops can now have angel deal items, so I suppose it all works out really. And also Whenever we use our um, our horsey, 
for the rest of that room, we get a nice damage up. Chance to restore oil health when taking damage one time. Seems pretty good, but I'm going to stick with a dim bulb. We could get a better item that works with it. Got a secret room there. We'll do check that out. Two buttons. Two buttons I very much regret pressing. Very much regret. The holy light dead eye shots look really cool. Really cool. Right, at least this time we can take like minimal minimal travel over to the uh, rooms we want to get to. Cool. Well, oh, that was actually really good. That worked out fantastically. And it also gives us a damage up for the rest of this room, so. Boucheria. Leech is just fine. Unfortunately, nothing chaosified there. That's just a regular old guy. But he can heal us up. He can give us a give us a little bit of HP when he when he munches on people's butts. You have to appreciate the munch. You have to. You can't not appreciate the munch. Right, let's kill this bomb guy. Otherwise, he's going to get up in our shit. To get the other bomb guy as well. The only thing about flight is we are going to fly the rocks and uh, trying to hit things with our pointy nail and ruin our dead eye. But it's so easy to build back up that I don't actually care that much. This guy's going to be meltified. Absolutely melted. Acid Baby's actually great. I like Acid Baby a lot. Basically gives us pills every now and again. There you go. Look at that. It's unfortunately not an item, but it's, it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of HP. We might as well. Oh, we don't have a bomb. I was going to say we might as well go for the angel, um, like Mega Satan, but we cannot. We cannot. Sadly. If we get some more bombs, though, we'll be able to do it in the future. Because we got angel deals the whole way through now. Angel deals the whole way through. That is the only, uh, like, disappointing thing about angel deals. Like, there's only one deal the devil set up in the default game that doesn't have a deal the devil item in it. It's that four chest one. Or there might even be a five chest one as well. So maybe two at maximum. Whereas, there's quite a lot of angel deals that just have health and no items. Which is kind of upsetting. Right. So, how much does our stats go up by when we use our active item? Not at all. Isn't that what Dimble's meant to do? Maybe it's not Dimble. It's Broken Bulb. Okay, wait a minute. Ow. That was a really bad hit there. Really bad hit. Alright, let's find out what it does. All stats up if not holding an any active item. Okay, I, I definitely shouldn't have kept this then. Whoopsie. Oh, I've been, I, like, I've just been watching, like, memes randomly recently. And one, I don't know if you've seen it, but one I'm totally getting behind at the minute is the, um, it goes down. It goes down. <laughs> it's like, there's, there's, uh, I don't know if, you, if you've seen it, but it's like two guys and they're, they're on a boat and, like, going fishing. And, like, one of them is driving the boat and he's going around, he's going, like, on this lake or whatever it is. And he's going on the corner <laughs> and he's like, He's like, Robert, it goes down. The, the, the uh, it's like sort of, not a waterfall, but it's like a dip on, on the river. He's like, Robert, it goes down. He's like, it don't, it don't. <laughs> His friend's like shitting himself, like, Robert, it goes down. He's like, no, it don't, it don't. <laughs> and he's like just singing like, looking on the bright side of me. Do, 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 do. So chilling, his friend's like shit in his pants. <laughs> he's like, it goes down. Oh, I, I find it so funny. He's just absolutely crapping himself. And his friend's just like, do, 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 Oh, my God. I don't know why that happened, but that's cool. Did they buff X-Lax? Or is that, is that because of Monster Egg? I love Monster Egg. Such a cool idea for an item. I'm glad they added it as a modded item. My God. It goes down. It don't. <laughs> don't go down. It goes down. They like they get over the edge, like just to the edge, and I think the guy, the the Robert guy, knows it's happening. It's like a prank, and he, like, the other guy just like shits himself and like tries to climb out the boat. Just a prank, bro. Meh. Meh. It goes down. It's just been in my head like all day. 
face the way he, he's like the fear in his eyes when he's like, Robert, it goes down. It don't, it don't. It does, Robert. It goes down. He's like absolutely crapping himself. Let's do some more donating. We haven't donated in forever. We're at 98 cents. Two more and we get another unlock. Have we been to 100 before? We might have been to 100 and I just bombed it all the way down to like 60. That seems like the sort of thing I'd do. Oh my god. These boys lobbing out big eggs at us. Big egg boys. Another speed upgrade. Booyah boy. Booshakaya. We need to just take all the pills to find out what they all are. Puberty. I like puberty. I mean, I like it now that it's over. Right, to our boss. We got the item room, didn't we? It was the egg. Cool. Excuse me. Excuse me. I pressed my spacebar item, and it didn't move me. It's meant to move you. Right, this, this guy's going dune. He's going doing like China tune. All right, calm down, you fella. Calm down, you rubella fella. He did. Oh, he did. What angel deal we get today? Gishy, 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 gishy. Ah. Up. That is just, just the fucking worst. <laughs> but at least get a, a key piece. Or does he not drop one with chaos? Either way, I'll be happy. We'll get a key piece and get a chance at Mega Satan, or we'll get an item. So, I'm very annoyed by Doctor's Remote though, there. Yeah, we got a key piece, cool. Yeah, Doctor's Remote is like the saddest item we could have possibly got from that situation. Because it's an active item, and it's much worse than ours, and it's not an Angel Pool item either, so. We screwed ourselves with chaos. We screwed ourselves with chaos. This room is cancer. Health down. I'm not taking that. I ain't taking that for nobody. Uh, where is the enemy on this room? There isn't one, okay. <laughs> Fair. I'm just making problems for myself. Right. Come on, boys. Up, one of you open your gobbos. Open your gobbo for jobbo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeeted that guy out of existence. Uh, hand? I don't think so. Oh my god, that's a lot of hands. That's a lot of old bomb flies. Ah. Uh, they carry in big bada booms. I don't care about the pills no more. I don't care about the pills no more. Well. I wonder if it can drop the custom pills as well. I bet it can. It depends if they're in our roster though. You don't get all pills in, the, in, in each game. Like it, it picks a selection at like a certain amount. And you get like them ones in your game. And you can't find the others. But they always, there's always the good and bad counterpart there. So if there's a health down, there's always a health up. So knowing there's a health down is technically a good thing. It means that we know that if we keep taking pills, we will eventually find the health up pill. Not a good room. Not a good care stream at all. Pheromones. Okay, that was that was a bad idea by me there. I just stood still. I froze. Oh, we got one of the best enemies. Yes, because he like basically can't be hurt ever. Great. Dude, heck off. Dude. Dude, leave me be. Ah. Go away, troll them. I don't want no love. Come on, chomp on him. Chomp it. I, I need to get perky goes. I'd love that. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Just more followers. Bruh. That, that zombie just burn out. Bruh. Ow. Range down. Don't know why I took that. Apparently I hate myself. A key. Do we need keys? We kind of need keys. Ow. What the hell hit me there? Probably a thing, or a stuff of sorts. Right, get that key. Might as well take friends till the end here. Friends till the end. I'll use this death card in this room, because I'm just holding it for no reason at this point. They did nothing. Cool. 
I didn't even realize this was mum. Did we even go to our item room? We didn't. Balls. I didn't realize this was mum. I'm sorry. Taking chaos basically doing nothing with it. It's great, isn't it? Such a good idea. That is a real healthy way to, to waste your time. We should need a little bit more oomph, I think. A little bit more oomph, and this would be a really good, really good run. Just a little, little bit more oomph. Come on, next angel deal. Give me Sacred Heart, and I'll love you forever. Sacred Heart or something equivalent. I'm sorry, but that is not anything equivalent. These are trash tier. I'll take the blue map because it's the only one that's useful. These are actual trash tier. I'm sorry, game, but that was that was unprecedented. Thank you. Um, anything in here? Oh, there's Tech Zero. I want it so bad. And there's also got the item. I'm taking Tech Zero. Tech Zero is great. Tech Zero is so fun. Also, we haven't had it yet, and it's going to make this, like, not that hard. It's not going to make it easy, because obviously we have to fight a lot of bosses, but it's going to make it not that hard. If we had Piercing Shot, that'd be, that'd be where it really kicks off. We don't even have that high a fire rate, really. We have Default, so it's not, it's not like banging complete supreme, but... Still, look how fast we're killing Cage, and Cage is a pretty tanky boss. You see his thickness? He can tank like a motherfucker. Puberty. Ow. I like my pubes, spitty. Right. We're getting heals from the leech every now and again, which is nice. Because, like, our health might dwindle in this fight. So getting heals from whatever, whatever reason is going to be good. Don't really want to range down. Ooh, that was close. Almost got hit by that guy. We have a little, a little Hurst guy in the corner there, whatever they're called. This, this little head dude. Just chilling out, trying his, trying his damnedest to help, but really not getting much. A health down pill. Do you know what? What I was thinking is, if I could do boss rush, be a slightly underpowered for it, and get myself a health down pill, my life would be complete. That's exactly what I was, I was really hoping for, so I'm really glad the game came through for me there and helped me out with that health down pill. It's really gonna make my uh, my life in this run so much so much better, infinitesimally better. I think the electric from our from our shots chaining actually does more damage than our shots hitting, unless they're holy shots. So we might just want to try and miss. <laughs> I'm sort of trying to do like a circle tactic so that I I try to miss, but I still hit a lot of shots. Like that look. Doing pretty good work to be honest. Considering our actual damage is only like six, so it keeps changing going up and down. I'm not quite sure why that is. Oh, it's because of our it's because of our um, dead eye. Considering our actual damage is like what four point something, four point six. Pretty good. This guy's a, a raging bastard. A raging bastard. The the health the health on these guys worries me. It's it's it's, it's not getting much lower. Not getting much lower, and this guy just keeps spawning his, his shitty little, little sides. Okay, it got it got quite a lot lower quite quickly there. Haha! What are you without your little little scooter? Okay, these guys, these guys again. Seriously, these boys again. I've already got your head, and I'm riding it. What more do you want from me? Ah! Ah. Come on now. Come on now, boy. Okay. He's gone down. We've, we've got to have, like, maybe three more waves left. We haven't fought the angels yet, though. Maybe, maybe we have more. I'm trying to think of what bosses we've fought. No, we have a lot more than three, don't we? There's a lot of bosses we haven't fought. We haven't fought, like, Monstro, Monstro 2, 
all that jazz. And for um, P. We got a lot of waves to go, shit. This was a mistake. I'm gonna be here forever. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? And I mean in real life. I also need HP. Plus. Plus HP. Plus. Yep, that's not good. Um, we, we're gonna die in this bitch. Oh my god. This was a mistake. I thought I had more damage than this, but I don't. And I'm gonna die. I I get I guarantee as soon as um as soon as they get out on oh, no way. As soon as they get out the big boy, the laser boy, I'm dead. I don't even know what the other enemy is here. I'm just trying my damnedest to stay away from it. Oh my god, no, it's the haunt. It's the shitting haunt. Leave me alone, haunty boy. Not Haunt. What's his name? Frail. Or, or Jizrag. I can't remember his name. Um, he's dead. Oh, it's Stain. Is it Stain? No, that's not the Stain. Ah. How am I alive? I should not be living today. I am doing terribly all the time. Oh my god, I've just realized I've been getting mad, mad heals. Mad heals from my little leech boy. He's been saving me. What a trooper. What an absolute trooper. Like, he actually is just trying his damnedest. Doing a great job of it, too. Well done. What are you doing here, you shit? Oh my god, I didn't mean you. I didn't mean you, you corn poop. I need to poke them with my with my stabby prodder. And hopefully that'll help. Come on, stabby prodder. Stabby prodder. Oh, I got him. Ah, oh, there's there's the peepy boy. Peeperonis himself. Peeperoni and adversary. Not a good combo. At least it's not adversary and um keep it in here, bloat, that's the one. We've still got bloat to come. We haven't fought him yet. I reckon he'll be next wave. As long as he's not with someone horrible. As long as he's not paired up with someone just awful. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing, sir? Maggie's bow. Oh, wait. Did we fight him already? Or does he just not show up sometimes? Um, We did surprisingly well, though. Surprisingly well. Nothing left for us in here. Gonna, gonna like, come out and say, The Leech Clutch. The Leech Clutch, boys. The leech clutch. He just saved our darn life. Oh, we've got Labyrinth as well. That's actually brilliant for this. And we've got the Wafer as well, so we don't have to worry about double damage. I mean, we should try not to take damage anyways. The leech coming in clutch again there. Um. But yeah, so hopefully we can just get through this law really quick if we can find the boss. Obviously, there is the very strong chance that it takes us three times as long to find the boss. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we find a quick boss... Oh my god. Ow. Ow. Oh shit, there's still an enemy about. For some reason I thought that fly guy had spawned off the end of that room, but that's not what the item that we have does. Speed down. Thank you. It's what I've always wanted. Just just a speed down. Don't know why I went base hunter there. Do any of you watching even know what base hunter is? Are you old enough for that? I don't know. That was like big. That was like popular when I was at school, so maybe not. I feel old, I feel like an old man. Why do I have to age? Why does the passage of time happen? Right. What what pills we got here? Infested. Not bad. Right. Oh my god, the heels, the heels, boy, the heels. I think. I think we've got a sort of glitch going on here, you know. I think that the leech is sometimes killing the enemies that I spawn via the um, the monster egg. I think that's sometimes what's happening. Because it seems to me that, like, every now and again we get hearts when he hasn't actually finished, like... Because he has to get, like, the final blow on an enemy for it to work. And it sometimes seems like he's not getting the final blow. Unless it's just, like, the timing's just really nice. 
Okay, so it's, it just spawns poopy guys now. Buff that pill a bit. It's kind of cool. Right, we did find the boss relatively quickly here, so I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that indeed. Right, take out. Try and take out this this red guy. Yeah, you got him. Oh, one of the halves is dead already. Nice. I've never understood why Loki has, like, the normal Loki form and then two half Loki form. Weird. Never really kind of explained. We've got a Little Devil. We seem to get a Little Devil a lot. He's not bad, actually. He's going to be quite far back in the roster, which is obviously a shame. And obviously another shame about Labyrinth. I didn't even realize. I didn't even think about it. If we do lose out on a deal with the Devil. Which is the biggest of sands. Well, an angel deal, should I say. It's not a deal with the Devil, is it? But you know what I mean. Ow. That was a bad hit to take there. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That was kind of rude. Right. Oh my god. One HP in a dream. One HP in a dream. What you got for us, bro? Toxic shock, a bit of HP. Noise. Um let's go. I know I've got the negative, but we'll go up. We need to we need to defeat Isaac more anyways, so try this out. This is a possible win. This is genuinely a possible win. I mean, I say possible. We've not got that many hits left in us, really, so it, it could all come crumbling down fairly quickly here, but... Wait. Wait. Sir. So, let's, let's, let's for a second ignore the fact that I just said there's a chance we die and instantly died. Let's 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 think about this. Did I not have the wafer? Was that the last run? Cuz I was really confident that I had the wafer there, and I'm pretty sure I didn't. So there's that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was that was an abrupt death. I I didn't realize that was coming so quickly. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.